Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play is the United States of America. And in this episode, um, we are... I think this is the last British territory they have in the Caribbean. Um, not, in, not in the Americas, sadly, because they, they grouped all their forces in to attack Newfoundland. Um, however, we will, we will have finally secured the Caribbean. So let's attack the city of Port Royal and its meagre garrison. But then once this is secured... Uh, yeah, then we can start to focus on um, some other endeavours, potentially including the invasion of other um, territories in the Americas. But I think we still want to bring the war to Britain. But nevertheless, let's focus on our current objective, the capture of Jamaica. We're going to end up needing to bring a lot more forces north against Newfoundland, though. That's one thing to bear in mind. It is a city fight. Very well. So my regular line infantry are a bit better in the towns. Their charge bonus is worse, but their defense and melee attack is higher. So line infantry is going to go through the towns. And the other public and guard units mercenaries push around one flank hessian infantry push around the other let's give them both a skirmisher unit provide some extra firepower if they need it cavalry whip around the flanks as well advance up into the town so you secure that building something like this my American infantry mercenaries are going to be critical for this battle plus the legion the hessian line are not going to get a huge amount of action out here on the far distance but they are going to advance up here at speed my general storm up here Maybe foot artillery landing shots home Republican Guard versus Colonial Infantry. To be honest, actually, bayonet charge them. We have an advantage of troops. Actually, push up around the flank. They're going to steam into here. You guys advance and outflank them. Demolish the building in front of the artillery. Whip around the building. How about it? There's the officer. Let's run one infantry unit in to begin engaging the artillery. And a regiment of horse are whip to whip around the flank. Lots of routing troops. Come on, lead the first legion of foot. Excellent volley there. Charge into the back of all these militiamen. running away from us. Charge in. In 
engage the gunners, artillery, ceasefire. goes one unit of artillery charge into the 27th we've killed their general hello get some of this to break off because their mercenaries are coming charge the buccaneers They're only light infantry. So that's one unit of buccaneers that's broken. Straight into the file, I can't citizenry. The Curacier is smashing into the other buccaneers. They're broken. Charge straight in. File, I can't citizenry. Excellent. Excellent. Nice. Jamaica is taken. And the first thing that's going to happen, that military governor's barracks is going to be destroyed. We need proper civil administration here. Okay, let's... Oh, I don't have the money. <laughs> to repair the port, upgrade the roads. That's what we'll want to do. But yes, more trade goods that are ent entering the global market. So that's the last British colonial holding. We still have lots of troops over here. Plus a lot of fleets. So we will want to engage these carefully. I mean, they've not been harassing our fleets quite so much. You're still building your strength up. They did land a fleet off an army off of uh, the northeast. However, ready for this is where we have we have forces ready to meet them. So if they are seeking to cross the uh, cross here, then we're going to advance up and push them back. Elsewhere, our empire is pretty secure. So let's bring a Granville Stapleton back. Oh no, you can't leave yet. No, no. We need to make these people a happy people. Let's get rid of the water power cloth mill. Rebuild it with a church school so we can try and get an agent head. We start converting this territory and also start converting um, effectively the entire North African coast. Okay. But elsewhere, elsewise, everything's pretty darn secure. Okay, let's hit end turn. Yeah, we're just keeping an eye on what's going on in Mexico. Nope, 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 no, no trade, no offers, no barter. No, we may be allies, but you will not get our territory. No, sir. See, they are crossing. The devils, the cads. I may have to raise an emergency force in Quebec, just in case. The Prussians are sending an army somewhere. I, I mean, I highly expect they're going to try and invade us. Oh no. They're invading Copenhagen. Interesting. Very interesting. Russia is just doing Russia things. I mean, I wonder if Russia will invade Britain or declare war on Britain after well, now they share a border between the border between Finland and Sweden. Remains to be seen. I haven't seen Russia ever go on a a tear and storm through Central Europe. 
I don't think I've, well, if I have seen it, it's a very long time ago. Yeah, I've not done it for as long as I can remember. Hmm, adding more ships into this into the uh, the Atlantic. That's right. Run, <laughs> run your troops away from the capital. Genius. Unless they're rubbish units, that's usually a bad idea. Steam engine. Okay, so now we can really be catapulted into, into the stratosphere. Tristan Minchin. Okay, yeah, you're still trying to manoeuvre your way back to the good side. There we go. Okay, let's get some of these lower tier upgrades first. Some of these slightly cheaper upgrades. Oh yeah, sugar. Uh, steam powered sugar mill. Yeah, those are all options now. I think I am going to focus on proper industry first rather than trade. Although I sh one thing I should probably keep doing is... Uh, well, what I've... Every turn, upgrade one port and then upgrade one. Oh no, you, so my um, fabric industry is, fabric industry does not have power loom, so they can't be upgraded yet. That's good. So it's only the iron working buildings that can be upgraded to steam engine factories. Actually, they're quite reasonable. Oh yeah, and the mines to industrial mining complexes. Okay, that's probably enough. That's a good balance there. Ah uh, yes, Yorktown can become a steam dry dock. Strategic priority. Sir. Your orders. Okay, I might have to send one south. One south to try to cut them off. Quebec. Quebec recruit. A bunch of infantry to land and provide reinforcements. You're just going to defend in the north. Actually. March immediately. You're going to build a fort. If they want to get around to the north, they have to attack um, Fort Sheffield. Sir. Awesome. Poor bottle man. This guy likes to get drunk. No more enemy trade in this region to worry about. One more turn. Oh no, actually, your, no, your ships have been recruited from somewhere. I just don't know where. Ah, down here. So that's one fleet ready to go. And Leslie Hook. Bring you out to see. Can't build anything of any use, but you're going to be the next fleet to go to get involved in some action. I mean, you go. Oh, that Royal Navy fleet's in port. There is a fleet around here somewhere. Let's see if it commits to anywhere first. Okay, five turns to interchangeable parts. Go for that, because it's just a flat um, decrease in upkeep. We've got all of our Philosophical technologies researched. Sir, I must rest. Windward Islands for New Mexico. No. Don't worry, Mexico. You'll get yours. So Spain is going to be en route. It'd be interesting to see what happens now, because we took Tripoli, which they wanted. Okay, they've so their fleets. One, both of their fleets have returned to Europe. That's interesting, and it appears that they have very much given up on the idea of pushing in the north. Prussia is adding extra troops to the attack on Copenhagen, which they won. Nice. I think the Marathas have inv invaded Ceylon. The 
Interesting. Very interesting. I think we do want to focus on, if, you know, if you expand elsewhere in Europe, focus on Iceland and the British Isles, build up our naval strength till we dominate the West. But don't try and advance in Europe. Focus on landing in India. Just build up our naval strength to it's so powerful the world cannot resist. Uh, yes, we still have our fleets raiding around the British Isles, sat outside Waterford. They've not been attacked, although that might be the reason why they're pulling their fleets back. Is to attempt to defeat my fleet off their coast. Let's just go for one last. They're still not trading, so it looks like it is still broken. Raid a lot of their west coast ports. Ah, they're protecting it. Should probably attack and destroy this these Russian these Austrian ships. Let's raid Brest on the way down. Russia's in the way. First of all, before we do that, Any ah yes, I forgot about you guys. First of all, get our upgrades and construction. On keep keep those things moving forward. So back in Europe, well back in the Americas, one. Keep my port one port upgrade per turn. That's reasonable. Plus a handful of industry upgrades. And Leslie Hook. I should just get a, get a batch of heavy firsts in for now. Five thousand nine hundred. Okay. Get this infantry embarked aboard ship. Land them to the south. Advance up my infantry. Okay, that's the army here. They've pulled back, so let's pull push this army forward. Let's start to compress them. Compress them in. Poland's been destroyed. Sweden's been destroyed for good this time. Oh yeah, I suppose with the loss of Copenhagen, that was it. Okay, I think we want to attack these Austrian fleets, but I want to do it with two fleets here. So let's take these four threes out. Still ship shape. Fleet ready. Put these first rates into Sandy Bay. Pick a heavy first rate to be my admiral. Excellent. Ship shape and Bristol fashion, Captain. Where to, Captain? Trips, I think I need to move my. Yeah. Trips, is your handy there? Aye, aye, Captain. To help protect, help stop people from crossing. But I think what I want to do is move you around like so. Any orders? Move this fleet to I keep holding the straight. Ships orders, then if I send in Nathaniel Wallace to attack Xavier Zucker. Oh no, I thought this army would fleet would come in to reinforce. I suppose not. Come on then. Let's get them. A lot of their fleet is quite badly damaged, so. I'm going to take their capital ships into our fleet. Because right now we want to keep our our naval strength just has to be crazy high. Bunch of heavies, then all of our seconds, including the admiral. 
thirds bringing up the rear deploy our ships like so Why have you, why are you guys deploying it funnily like that? Group, one point on the other, that. So let's see where the Austrians elect to go. And they want to try head us off. Koenig, second rate ship of the line, leading the charge, but a lot of their ships, their second rates. Yeah, grief, blunder. Heavy privateer, Rosé, heavy frigate, heavy frigate. Fifth rate, fifth rate. Meanwhile, we've got some pretty, pretty veteran heavy first rate ships of the line up front. Wabash, Centurion, and Boyne. Yeah, so what? First ship's got full complement of guns. 49 guns, 29 guns, 29 guns, 49 guns, 32 guns. Lots of smaller ships are in good shape, but got smaller ships. The enemy is trying to cut us off, but we've got the weather gauge, and it's only so far they can try and avoid us. But I think the head of my I want the head of my column to tie up their starboard column from their perspective and start uh, destroying their heavier ships of the line. These smaller ships you don't really care about. Okay, let's do something like this. Bring in, yeah, bring the heavy ships into the fleet. Smaller ships can be paid out to try and help pay for the repairs. Okay, I think we, we've maneuvered well enough for this them to not cut us off. But as a result, they may attempt to heal over and try and cut through our line um, rather than try and cross the T. Although, Koenig may actually do it. Let's try and go like so. There we go. Well, the first shots have been fired. We've killed three crew without folly. Actually, let's keep keep playing at um, high speed until. Things get a bit more dicey. I think I might try and cross their T. Cross the T myself. It might put Koenig on the other side of our fleet, but then we will at least have done it and start to um, chew up their, the head of their column. I think we might be able to get Gepard. The Bash is going to get raked. It's fine. We can start to dismast Gepard. Fifth race taking hits. Centurion. There we go, it's time to turn port. Koenig's going to get a good broadside from our port battery, which is at full strength. Fire broadside? Oh, it's the entire formation. I see. Hmm. 
main mast destroyed. Four mast destroyed. Gepard, Gepard's four mast is destroyed. Great. It's another mast on Koenig's gone. Let's send Herald down here. There we go. They're now starting to turn into the rest of our fleet. Gepard has surrendered. Engage the fifth rate, I suppose. Probably have to get engaged with round shot, realistically. No, we do want chain. This component back here. Start to try to get behind them. They've changed their mind again, see? Mercy is routing. She's now returned. Burning's lost all her masts. Amacy. It's the end of you. Pushing forward. Just keep shooting at the mass. I may have to send like serious. Just go down here. Full speed. Rem Remes Remesi. Wavering. I mean, you might have stopped firing round shot just so you don't waste all your shots against Tony. You can keep firing. Hell of a heavy frigate surrendered. Elster Bremser has surrendered. Ooh. The ship's blown up. It's heavy first, it's not on fire. Just keep slowly creeping on by. Serious. Let's get get Koenig. You're right. Actually, the second rate ship of the line. Don't sail at full sail. Should get the second rate. Just come into the mix. Coming in at thick. They're coming in. Okay, we need to start forming a second rank. They're going to push through our line. Go on, Boyne. Get in front of them. Nautilus is... Surrend is, is routing. Koenig is surrendered. Keep sailing. Actually, try pivot. Yeah, these ships just need to push through. Just 
stone, get pummeling them around sure. And you'll have to turn port. Try and unleash all of your the guns that are in good condition. You're going to push forward and keep trying to dismast grief the second rate. They're just trying to push through our line. Drop anchor. Okay, and the bomb catch is going to be engaged. You want to dismast. Oh, the bomb catch has gone out. Salam, Brig is upset. Wabash is on fire. Well, let's let them fire the broadside of a uh, chain shot into. Oh no, don't worry about it then. Excellent. They're in there. Their push has faltered. Boing. Fire round shot. Our back. It's en route. The fifth race sank. Firing broadsides. Get ready. Blunder might try and break through. So get Wabash, Pivot, Centurions on fire. Yeah, Blunder's going to push through. the only ship to successfully break through the line. Blunders under fire. Let's try pivot, boing. Firing chain shot. Dismast it our back. Might dismast our own ship. Go on, elephant. You're in position. Knock out her masts. You're in trouble now. You need to reload. Repeated, consistent, superior gunnery. My marines are stood waiting. a bunch of the uh, the rigging we haven't we snipped the top off of the sail decisive victory indeed that's quite a big fleet for the Austrians to lose so we want all of the big ships the smaller ones might be useful for um, trade fleets but we're not exactly short on trade fleets at the minute Ship shape and all of these ships get dispatched back to the Americas to be built into fully fledged fleets and they can be sent forward for more action Nathaniel Wallace, superb job then Justin Crompton attack this last Austrian fleet try and capture the, the, the uh, both the first trade ships of the line send them back to America to be combined into battle fleets and then sent back out into the world's oceans heavies up front I mean I generally like this formation because you put your faster ships at the back so if you need to respond to anything quickly you know the ships that are best place to do that haven't been committed to the fight yet oh no right we immediately heal over ah oh, my first rate wasn't in the line
to be fair, we can try to push towards them, because that's what they're, they're pushing towards us. Maria, fourth rate that's damaged. Wera, full strength. And Nymph, full strength. Plus a couple of smaller escorts. Uh, we're going to sail right into each other, I think. Although I may abandon my formation. Yeah, not worried about Maria. To be honest, not worried about any of them. But, uh, yeah, definitely want to try to capture these first rates. Ship them back to America. Put them into one of our fleets. Then we're going to really start cooking on the high seas. I don't mind if their fourth rate gets the first shots on us. They're weak anyway. And probably for smaller ships, just going to go full on with the with the um, chain shot anyway because these small ships their morale really does not do very well with uh, being dismasted by a heavy ship well, they're being engaged by our chase guns killed one crewman maybe You're going to get smacked by a broadside from heavy first, and you all will not like it. <laughs> Give that first rate an order just to engage them. Abandon the formation. Play all this way. Full speed. Yeah, she just keeps sailing. The collateral damage will get her. Yep, yeah, I mostly want to position to engage the first rates. Don't worry about these fifth rates. I want to advance up, sweep the deck with chain shot, this master, bring her into our service. Oh yeah, let's watch assurance broadside. With chain shot, Maria. You didn't dismaster. Yeah, we're gonna position, position against the firsts. You must might dispatch the back rear the rearmost two ships just to keep engaging Maria. Let's see if we can sweep the deck with a broadside of chain here. Master's gone. And it might have two masts on Oka. Okay, push you guys forward. Sapphire, just keep engaging Wera. There we go, Maria's lost the main mast. Oka is just upset at what's happening. Yeah, 
excellent. Routing. Back on the back on the uh, chain shot. Start hitting Gretchen. You get ready with chain shot because here comes where where. Start trying to push some ships up here. Let's try to get around the back. Come on, Hancock. Engage Wera the first. Although if you hit the fifth rate, that's okay. But you'll have reloaded before um, anything too spooky happens. Got away, Oka's at the mast. Yeah, we'll push Sapphire forward. Well, I might actually broadside fire you just to make sure you do hit first rate, not the uh, fifth rate. We're not going to wait for it to be reloaded. Oh, the main mast is gone. Excellent. Okay, you might have to nudge over a bit now. You're going to have to be ready to engage Nymph. Let's maybe give you a bit, a bit more support. to keep engaging Wera. Oh, lost a four mast as well. Okay, right. Push forward. First rate. Abandon the hunt for the fourth. You're going to have to start firing fighting this battle conventionally. Let's give you some help. She's turning into us. to the center. Fire! You rocked her. Foremast is gone. Keep engaging. Oh, there we go. We did get some damage. Turn into her though. Drop anchor. You engage from the stern. Alcide has to engage. Around the broadside. We're into her flank. Guns left. You get out of. You need to just get past her. Keep 
usually just sail past the first trade ship of the line that you have got. Very few guns, apparently. Okay, Wera, Wera is wavering. Sail forward just to butt into Nymph. Okay, you might be able to go back against Maria now. She's giving our some of our ships the slip. Full sail. Humbling. We're better. Defiant, the second rate, is pushing forward. She's turning to keep engaging this ship. I mean, I might just try and turn you to run away, to be honest. Sapphire's on fire. Be careful, actually. This is my admiral. Where is surren surrendered? Turn ever so slightly to engage the fifth rate. Flee at full sail. Sapphire is going to give Nymph a bit of a going over. Actually, let's pivot around. Your starboard battery is in pretty good shape. Surrendered, 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 surrendered. It's just Nymph left. We're not going to let you get away, no sir. Although it looks like you've just surrendered. Oh, it's all down to Maria now, isn't it? Who is Maria is routing. She's been dismasted, so... Keep engaging. There we go. Excellent. So we took a bit of a hammering there. But the day was ours. And we want the two firsts. Cash the rest off. Excellent. Back to America. So this fleet. You can just raid in the mouth of... Raid in the Strait of Gibraltar. So we can get Justin Crompton replenished. Back up to full strength. Excellent. Um, okay. So we've done lots of this road building stuff. Done the path block stuff. Trade route raiding, that was me. Okay, 9,000. Let's, let's drop a couple more industry upgrades because they're going to really start to take off soon. So you're replenishing. Okay. What we can do is take... Maybe take the battle fleet. They can go to Nassau, pick up Henry Dayton. Any orders? Waiting for your orders. Set sail. Land off of Plaisance, although actually apparently the because the British have left St John's, um, we can just storm straight in. Okay, let's disembark the army. <laughs> March on to Plaisance, and we are going to fight it because we haven't actually done much fighting on land this episode. Not a huge amount. We're going to do it, and we're going to secure this territory and all the British troops that have uh, pushed into North America are now quite vulnerable. And these three armies up here will be the start of a of a call that's going to 
invade Britain. Um, because if they've got a particular attachment to the northeast, then we want to make sure that we um, give them something else to think about. Otherwise, they are just going to keep building armies to attack the northeast. So they, the enemy has their own has has a comprehensive artillery battery of their own. However, ours is going to be, or ours is better. All of my artillery is going to be left alone to fire at whatever targets they desire. That will be their artillery. Got our elites on the right flank. Mass or skirmishes on the left. Buccaneers in support. And heavy cavalry, because the skirmishers team, team to attract enemy cavalry fire. So we should expect to be engaged by a comprehensive amount of enemy artillery. Now, here comes carcass shot, but we're going to advance into musket range, sweep the formations with musket fire. They're focusing on my rocket troop. We haven't advanced quite far up in that. Advance right up close. Okay, my my howards are going to start focusing on the enemy. Like, uh, concentrated positions. We're now too close for the howitzers to have effect. Our quick climb, however, is going to be incredibly decisive. Keep the troops advancing. You thought you could play the artillery game with us? You thought wrong. That's right, run into your own stakes. I don't want to run over them. Buccaneers run the right way. I mean, that's quite a large enemy route. Okay, let's start to hit the troops on the flank. Rocket artillery is doing a superb job. Push my buccaneers onto the into the colonial lights. My light infantry cease fire. Get my cavalry advancing around. Foot artillery all focus on the 18th regiment. I mean, look at all these dead red coats. Surprising my buccaneers. Okay, right. Get this, get this, uh, this cavalry unit to chase down their general's bodyguard. We've broken their square. My buccaneers are falling thick and fast, but this is why you've got they've got curacy here in support. Light infantry withdraw.
Send the mercenaries in. They have good charge bonuses. Ooh, we've killed the enemy general. We've killed him with rocket fire. Cease fire the rockets. Sending in my mercenaries to charge the redcoats. There we go. They broke. Ooh, my artillery engaged the 30th. Infantry and cavalry all just form up. Let my artillery bombard the bejesus out of them. How oh, it's are just out of range. They're going to advance into rocket artillery range. Yep, and they're shattered. Nice. Very nice indeed. Excellent. So they do have another army here, but now lots of their forces look quite vulnerable. Sir. Excellent. Okay. Let's hit end turn and watch the enemy panic in response to our moves. We've got two rakes near Santa Fe. That's not an efficient use. Ooh, they're going to come hit one of our navies. No, but they are moving troops around. Um, I'm going to auto-resolve it, but it's going to Round suck. We lost 391 men, apparently. That is not true. You want Newfoundland for all of this stuff. That's not bad, actually. Carinae, Steampunk, Land Range. I mean, that's that's a really good offer. That territory. But, no. No, I can't. I can't give it to them. Can't I just can't? It's it's a really good offer from the AI. Fair play to that. Definitely acknowledge that. Um, but I do not like giving up territory unless I really need to, <laughs> unless it's going to give me something, um, give me a decisive advantage in some way. Because if not, then no bueno. Not interested. And then we're getting a bit of a visual. Um, indication as to why the Ottomans end turn phase kind of bogs down a lot because they're running lots of individual troops around and I think a big part of it is because of the crossing from Istanbul um, into towards Ankara because the pathfinding on that's got to be crazy do you have to go into the city and then leave the city to cross uh, the Dardanelles if they could just run around it I think that would help it well, I would guess that would help a huge amount I don't know I'm not a game developer as it is, the AI is trying to reconcile moving troops around, but the only viable option it's being given is to run around the Black Sea, which they can't do. Okay, so you've gone on to Karen A. Um, short on carbines, don't really worry too much about that, but we may as well let you carry on researching the military stuff. Two turns away from Naval College, so that'll give us more... Um, give us a lot more... Uh, Naval text to research. So you chaps, get into Yorktown for repairs. Ships orders, Captain. Awesome. So these guys, your recruitment is done. Men, forward. So this is the start of a force that's going to invade India. Although I would like two armies. get a legion, a rangers, republican guard, a grenadier, and then over here I want rocket troop, cuirassier, regiment of horse, two cuirassier and a regiment of horse, then probably just 
a bunch of line. Sugar warehouse in the Bahamas. Okay, keep. Let's keep up the tradition of port upgrades. One per turn. We can repair the the, um, the governor's building in Newfoundland. Let's re make sure all these troops are fully replenished. Same with Ernest, Ernest Southerns to the north. It's another bunch of ships that are in good that are in a good position. They've been sailing around for a long time. I mean, you probably don't have to recruit that many ships. Okay. Great Oran to have a steam dry dock. So you need to be careful now, because there might be some Royal Navy fleet sailing around near the British Isles. So let's try return Ships ordered. to do some raiding sail into Newcastle Aye, Aye, sir. Ah, there's one of their navies William Hansen, heavy first weight first rate warrior in very good strength well, he's got lots of experienced units. War declared in Spain and Britain. That's really useful. If Spain falls to Britain, then we'll, we will attack. Ah, yes, you were meant to build your church school. Relatively unhappy. Can't build any dragoons. Through some militia to make yes. them relax. Push you guys up to Tunis. Because you want to make ready to sail and hit Cagliari and take that. Other than that, I think the only thing to do... We've not got much money left, but I think what has to happen... I mean, you guys have to push forward. You guys are going to push forward. Not attack. These guys have nowhere to run. You're going to replenish. Sylvester Newton, who does not like... Is that you? Yes, he does not. He is not as good converting in the Americas. Let's push this rake down towards Mexico. I mean, I know you've been sat there doing nothing, Nathaniel Green, for an awful long time, but you are definitely going to die soon. So this first rate... Yes, pretty sure you Aye, sir. move that fourth rate right out. So now this entire fleet is at full strength. Let's go back to raiding. Ooh, nearly attacked Spain. Excellent, 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 excellent. Okay. In terms of tech, nothing on the horizon. Let's hit in turn. Mexico continuing their offers for trading, but we're not interested. All hands on deck! All hands on deck indeed. We're going to be ready to repel attackers. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So... Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the continued adventures of the United States of America. Cheers everyone.